Hello, everybody. This is Angie at QQ for Coupons, and this is my CVS haul for the week of January 28th through February 3rd. So I just did a couple of transactions at CVS this week. I did not get a lot of items, but I did do all digital deals. So I'm going to share all of that with you. But before I get into it, if you guys could just take a moment, give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so yet, if you could just take a second, hit that subscribe button, and then ring that notification bell. That way you know when I post my videos, I would be super grateful. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Please say hello in the comments. I would love to chat with you. And if you've been here all along supporting my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget, I will have a printable breakdown below the video. You could just print it out. Take it to the store with you. It will make it so much easier. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into this haul. I don't have a lot to say today, so let me just show you what I got at CVS. Okay, so the first couple of items that I grabbed are these Garnier Skin Active Micellar Eye Makeup Remover Pads. So these are priced $7.79, but they are buy one, get one 50% off, and they are buy two and get back a $5 extra buck. So... Grabbing two of them, the first one is going to ring up at $7.79. The second one will be $3.89. So that is a total of $11.68 for both. I have a $2 digital coupon that will come off of one of them, but I also have a second $2 digital coupon that is going to come off the second one. So that is a total of $4 in coupons. And then I also have a $2 off of 10 Garnier Facial Skin Care CRT. So that is going to come off as well because I initially spent $11.68. So all three of those coupons are going to bring both of these down to $5.68. But then I'm going to get that $5 extra buck. So that is going to make both of these just $0.68 cents or only 34 cents each, and that is an amazing deal. Next up, I decided to grab a couple of these L'Oreal l Vibes. So I grabbed one shampoo and one conditioner. They are priced $5.59. They are buy two and get back a $4 extra buck. So grabbing two of them, that is a total of $11.18. I have a three off of two digital coupon so that is going to bring them down to $8.18. I'm going to get back that $4 extra buck, making the final cost $4.18 for both or $2.09 each. Now, that is not the greatest deal in the world. We can definitely get these cheaper, but I'm going to go ahead and grab them because I'm still working with what I have on these accounts right now. But if you have like a 10 off of 70 that you're going to work with, that would be a definite time to grab these items because the deal would be even better. But I don't have anything like that right now, so I'm just going to pick these up and I'll be okay with it because any savings is good savings. And then the last item I'm going to grab is one of these Febreze Airs. So these are actually on sale. They're not tagged in my store, but they're on sale for $3.94. We have a $2.30 digital coupon. So I'm just going to grab one of them, use the coupon, and my cost is going to be $1.64. Okay, so this is everything I'm getting for my first transaction. Everything you see here totals $26.80 before any coupons. So now I'm going to head to the register. Okay, so here is my receipt. So everything rang up as it should. I used my $2 digital off of one of the Garnier Skin Active. I used the $2.30 digital for the Febreze, the three off of two digital for the L'Oreal l -Vive, the second $2 digital for the Garnier Skin Active, and then the two off of 10 Garnier CRT. I rolled $11 in extra bucks, and then I had a couple of 20% offs on there. They're always expiring the day that I'm using them, so I just went ahead and threw them on there. My subtotal ended up being $4.19, so that is what I paid out of pocket. So not a bad out of pocket. I did use extra bucks though. So we have to add those back in. So if you add those back in, technically I paid $15.19. But then I got back 
a $5 extra buck for buying the two Garnier Skin Active, and then a $4 extra buck for buying the two L'Oreal. So $9 back in extra bucks. So that makes my total for all of these items $6.19. So not too bad. I'm okay with that. Okay, so for my next transaction, I decided to grab some of the raw sugar products again. I did a deal like this, sort of like this. It was a different deal, but I did it last week because this raw sugar watermelon and fresh mint hand soap is my favorite. So I'm definitely going to do this deal and stock up on it. So it is priced $5.49. I am going to grab three of them because right now they are spend 15 and get $5 back in extra bucks. So I have to grab three of them in order to get to that $15 mark. So three of them are going to total $16.47. So I don't have any digital coupons or anything like that for these items. I do on this account have a 20% off one full price item. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. That should save me $1.10. So nothing crazy, but that's going to bring all three of them down to $15.37. I'm going to get back that $5 extra buck. So that's going to bring them down to $10.37. But we also have a rebate on Ibotta that is $5 cash back when you buy two. So I'm going to submit my receipt to Ibotta for $5 back on two of them. And that is going to make my total for all three of them $5.37. So I think that's a great deal. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them since they're my favorite. Plus, I don't have any extra bucks on this account. So it would be nice to get one. Okay, so here is my receipt. So everything rang up as it should. I did use that 20% off of one full price item CRT. That saved me $1.10. I also had 2% back in extra bucks, so that saved me 10 cents as well. So my subtotal was $15.27. So I had to pay that out of pocket because I don't have any extra bucks on this account. But if you are buying these items and you have extra bucks, definitely, definitely, definitely roll those extra bucks into this transaction because you want your out-of-pocket to be as low as possible. That is the goal. So if you have them, definitely use them. I'm trying to get them on my accounts. So I'm just working with what I got here. So I paid the $15.27, and then I did get back the $5 extra buck, and then I did take my receipt, and I submitted it to Ibotta for $5 cash back for buying two of them. And I did get that back. So in the end, for all three of these items, I paid $5.27, which is cheaper than one of them. So I basically got two of them for free. That made them $1.75 each. And this is my favorite. So this was a great deal for me, and I was happy to get them. And that is it. That is everything I got for my CVS haul this week. I didn't get a lot of items, but I got items that I wanted. So I was okay with it. I do definitely need to start ordering my insert coupons again. I haven't ordered them for a little bit, but I think it's time I start ordering them again now that I'm back at CVS. So I will get on that, guys. I will get on that. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would be so grateful if you did. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and good luck couponing.